to my channel. As you guys can tell, I am in my New York bedroom, which I will give you guys a better view of in my next moving vlog. If you haven't watched this already, go watch it right now. It's basically showing my entire process and some shits and giggles. Anyways, today we're doing my updated skincare routine. I have dealt with skin problems for literally ages. Acne and of course acne scarring. And because I have, you know, such tan skin, the scarring is literally, it's awful. And my scars stay for forever, which is super annoying. I don't know what it is, but when I turned 26, I swear my hormones were like in check or something like that and my skin started to clear up. I'm gonna show you guys the products based on the category, so let's get started. Every week I basically shave my face, so this is a little tingle razor. I get it on Amazon and it comes in like a pack of three and there's two packs in the order and it's like super cheap for like five bucks or something like that. Basically like dermaplan my own face. I like getting rid of the peach fuzz and whatnot and I just feel like the products can seep into my skin better. So I do this weekly and I just like the way it makes my skin feel. And on the days that I wear makeup, I always double cleanse. So I've been using the Dermalogica pre-cleanse for ages now. I use this pre-cleanse oil and also the pre-cleanse balm. They're both really great products and they both get the job done. So it kind of depends whatever I have in my shelf right now. And I also do like the pharmacy green clean balm as well. So pharmacy and Dermalogica are great. I think that by pre-cleansing, you're able to get all of your makeup off and any sunscreen that's on. And then when you use your face wash, it will clean your face even better. So highly recommend double cleansing. I recently just got a lash lift and I can't use any oil on my eyelid. So I've been using the Bioderma Makeup Removing My Cell Solution. This really helps with getting eye makeup off. But yeah, I just use this for my eyes and then I use the balms and oils for my face. You guys have a lash lift. This is great for it. It basically doesn't harm the lash lift itself but it helps remove any makeup as for cleanser I have been using the summer Fridays super amino gel it's really gentle on the face and I like to wash my face for 60 seconds same thing with cleansing I just rub it into my face for 60 seconds all over I feel like that way my skin is getting everything that needs to get off and it's getting all the goodness out of the product so rather than just washing your face for like you know, 10 seconds. Just do it for 60 seconds. I feel like it's helped my skin get rid of any dirt or whatever. I don't know if it's a mental thing or like an actual thing, but it makes me feel better about cleansing my face. So that is what I use. Additionally, I do like to exfoliate my face with an actual exfoliant. I have been loving the Ula Henriksen Lemonade Soothing Scrub. So this is actually pretty new. And you guys, every time I use this, my skin feels super baby soft. In the morning, I can just feel my face like glowy and soft and and I feel like all the products that I used the night before really penetrated into my skin and I'm really seeing those results. This exfoliates with AHAs and lemon peel extract. Again, I like to exfoliate my face with it for 60 seconds once a week and literally best thing ever. A toner that I've been really loving is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep. So this is 2% BHA pore cleaning toner with Moringa and Papaya. I love the Pharmacy brand. It's all clean and it's amazing. But I honestly really feel like this gets rid of any excess dirt. Like before I use any serums and whatnot. I like to make sure that my skin is just clean. So I use this toner on a cotton pad twice a day. It's an alcohol-free 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates, deep cleans pores, and controls oil without overstripping skin. It contains a blend of salicylic acid, moringa water, and papaya enzyme to help reduce shine and minimize the look of pores. I think that this has helped with my breakouts because it's really helping get rid of any dirt on my skin basically and it helps set up a good foundation for my serums. If I do end up having any breakouts, I like using the La Roche-Posay Epiclera Duo. This is 5.5% benzoyl peroxide. It reduces the number of severity of acne blemishes, clears blackheads, and whiteheads. I've actually had this for a couple months now, so a little goes a long way, and this little bottle seriously lasts for forever. If I do sense any sort of breakout or whatever, I like to just put this over the area. You know, if you don't really have any breakouts and you still use it just in case, like I do sometimes, it doesn't make your skin dry, it doesn't irritate it or anything. I feel like it's pretty gentle for the most part. So yeah, this is amazing. Um, I've been using it for a couple months. No problems with it. I really like it. And I also really like this brand because you can seriously get it from Target and it's pretty affordable. So in the morning, the serum that I have been using is the CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. This is by Sunday Riley and I really like it. No complaints about it. I like using vitamin C in the morning. And vitamin C should be used in the mornings. So this has been my go-to. I feel like it really has helped getting rid of the dark spots on my face and the, any scarring. Then after I use the vitamin C oil, I have been using the 
Verse Hydration Hydration Station Booster with Hyaluronic Acid. So if you don't already know, Hyaluronic Acid is basically amazing. It helps with any dryness and just really plumping up your skin and making it super youthful and hydrated and fresh. Since moving to New York, I have noticed that my skin has been a little bit on the drier side and not as glowy, which I was like, ooh, I don't like that. So Verse it did gift me this product, but I really like it. Another alternative is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I purchased so many bottles of that one. So again, Hyaluronic Acid, just pure Hyaluronic Acid. How many times am I going to say that? It's great for your skincare routine. I like using it in the morning just to get that healthy glow. And I feel like it has really helped. When it comes down to nighttime serums, I've been using the Verse Trust Restart Gentle Retinol Serum. Retinol is really good for any texture, any scarring. I'm just going to put a list of other benefits here. <laughs> Another retinol that I really like is the Drunk Elephant Retinol. It, it comes in like a red, a white and red bottle. That's definitely more on the pricier side. I just started using this one. It has Bacchial and Encapsulated Retinol. This is supposed to be a pretty gentle formula. I've been using it for like two days, so we'll see how it actually works, but so far I really like it. No irritation. So it's made for aging skin, dullness, and problem skin. If any of those apply to you, definitely look into Retinol. I've had great experiences with it, and I'm excited to see the results for this one. And another serum or just or product that I like for using at nighttime is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All in One Lactic Acid Treatment. I don't mind this, I kind of broke the cap, but whatever. I'm just gonna read what it says. It deeply exfoliates the dull surface of the skin for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. Visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots and discolorations, instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles in three minutes. I don't know if the whole three minute thing is true, but I have noticed a drastic difference in my acne scarring. That was always such a big thing for me and I hated it because you know, having breakouts is one thing, but then scarring, that shit takes forever. So yeah, I have noticed a real big difference. My scarring and my scars are the start. So I feel like I'm just gonna keep repurchasing this because I feel like it's generally really working. And yeah, I really like it. So another product that I've been using, and this was gifted. I only use this for nighttime. I did use to use it for AM and PM, but ever since I got the hyaluronic acid, I've just been using it for PM. So this is the Skin Medica TNS Advanced Plus Serum. This product is definitely on the price your side I think it's like around $300 they did gift it to me which I'm very thankful for and I have noticed that it definitely plumps up my skin like times a thousand again again I just read what it says it's formulated with the most advanced growth factor technology this intensive treatment serum supports rapid comprehensive skin rejuvenation and significant visible improvements in coarse wrinkles fine lines and overall texture it lifts the appearance of sagging skin and enhances firmness to reclaim smooth tight and youthful looking skin that appears up to six years younger after 12 weeks I definitely think this contributes to my skin feeling smoother. I don't really have a wrinkle problem. Asians don't reason. But I do feel like the elasticity of my skin has improved. It's a lot smoother. Like I said, not really much of a wrinkle problem to begin with. So if I did have wrinkles, then I think this would have worked because my skin is looking tight and right. I don't think that I'm going to repurchase this just because I don't really have the problems that it should be used for. But in the future, this could be a product that I would be willing to look into again. So as for moisturizers, I've been using the Summer Friday cloud dew oil free gel cream I use this one in the morning and this is actually a new product by them and I honestly really love it I feel like it's definitely helped with brightening my skin and setting itself up for that glowy hydrated look throughout the day and I really like how my makeup applies on top of it plus I really like how it's fragrance free and again it's also a clean brand so I am always all for brands that support clean formulation as for nighttime I use the summer Fridays jet lag mask I have repurchased this over and over and over and over again this product is honestly just amazing so it is technically a mask but I just use it as a normal moisturizer this definitely helps with dry skin if your skin is feeling flaky or whatever exfoliate that shit and use a jet lag mask your skin will like thank you and you're gonna wake up feeling hella freaking hydrated so this has always been a go-to of mine since it came out basically I always know that I'm gonna get amazing results from this so if I ever try other moisturizers and it hasn't worked out for me, I always go back to this. Don't mind the packaging of this one. She's been through a lot. She's looking a little crusty, but she has lasted me for a minute. I've been using the Alta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. If you guys don't already know, you should be wearing sunscreen every single freaking day, okay? I honestly only do it in the morning because I don't really need to sleep in sunscreen, but for Alta MD, I love their formulation. This is for skin types prone to acne, rosacea, hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation is something that I've always suffered with because of my acne. Also, this is fragrance-free, oil-free, paraben-free, sensitivity-free, 
and non-comedogenic. Uh, anyways, I really like it. It doesn't leave a white cast on my face. Super lightweight and just a sunscreen that I know will never fail me and honestly a brand that will never fail me overall. As for eye creams, I have been using the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I've been using this. I think this is like my second or third jar. Honestly, I don't know. I really enjoy how moisturizing it is on the skin. I actually use this morning and night and sometimes I will use under eye creams from Dermalogica. It kind of just depends on what I have in my skincare collection. But right now using the Ola Ula Henriksen eye cream, I really like it. It definitely brightens my eyes and I don't know if you guys can tell, but I definitely have like eye bags. You know, I was born with it. So obviously there's nothing I can do about it except for keeping them hydrated. Honestly, I feel like it helps pre prevent wrinkles. And this under eye cream definitely helps brighten my under eyes as well. So yeah, definitely wear eye creams, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't really skincare, but it's on my face. But I use the Vi Beauty Agave Lip Scrub. I use this once a week just because I hate the feeling of chapped lips. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else can relate. I mean, I hope so. To use a scrub. Just thought I'd throw it in there. It's amazing. If this shit lasts for forever as well. Another fave, another ride or die. So you guys need a good lip scrub. This is it. All right, now on to face masks. Masks, masks. These are just the ones I have brought with me to New York. Some of them I ran out of. You can see all the face masks that I've been using or just are ones that I usually go for in my blog posts. But we have the Dermalogica Hydro Mask Exfoliant. So this is one of their newer ones. And I really like this because it's gentle, but it exfoliates your face. And honestly, I just really like the formula. So if I don't feel like exfoliating my face with like the Ula Henriksen Lemon Scrub, then I will just put this mask on and rub it into my face and I can feel it exfoliate it and then I'll just leave it on and then wash it off. It basically says hydrating and exfoliating mask smooths and renews for luminous healthy looking skin. I really do feel like this does a job and once you wash it off after exfoliating it does make your skin feel and look brighter and just smoother in general. And if I am sensing any breakouts or it's around that time of month I use the Dermalogica Sebum Clearing Mask. This is great. I freaking love it and it gives you that tingly feeling on your face like a minty fresh feeling which I honestly really like. I definitely feel like it opens up your pores so this is honestly really great it definitely worked and it has helped my skin get more clear if I feel like my skin just looks really dull and it needs a lot of TLC I use the charcoal rescue mask from Dermalogica it's an all-in-one treatment mask detoxifies brightens and invigorates normal to oily skin this shit literally tightens the fuck out of your skin you can just feel it take everything out and once you wash it off your face your skin is like firm and brighter and just new when refresh sometimes I'll be a little extra and exfoliate my skin and then I'll put the charcoal rescue mask on and then afterwards my skin is like ready to go she's ready to soak up all those serums and whatever this is my go-to if I really need a lot of TLC and then last but not least is the Ula Henriksen fat glow facial this is a little mini one because I didn't have room in my luggage to bring my bigger one this one has PHAs and Nordic birch sap again this is something that I use if I definitely feel like my skin is starting to break out out and it needs some exfoliation. I'm always between the Ula Fat Glow Facial and the Sebum Clearing Mask. I am sensing any sort of breakout. So either one of these, like it doesn't really matter to me. So yeah, that basically concludes my updated skincare routine. As you guys can tell, my skin literally went through the ringer. She has been through a lot and through all those badass breakouts. And now she is looking healthy as ever, clear as ever. And I'm just so happy with where my skin is at now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video i do have a blog post with every single product that i mentioned down below all the links will be there and if you guys have any questions feel free to comment them down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye